This evening, we're asking questions about how a 13 year old boy tragically lost his life on a haunted hayride. As investigative reporter Jonah Kaplan found, there are few state regulations when it comes to fall favorites like this. This was real life fright. I've got reports of a child that was run over by a trolley with a head wound. They are advising CPR is in progress. According to investigators, 13 year old Alexander Mick was killed when he was run over by a tractor pulled wagon at the harvest of Har in St. Augusta. Who drove the tractor and what was Mick doing when this happened? Among the many unanswered questions we're asking the Stearns County Sheriff. A spokesman said Tuesday they're still investigating. There's no way that that can come up. The tragedy now looms over Minnesota's famed fall festivities. Peter Marshall is the owner of Peter's Pumpkins in Shakopee, one of dozens of farms around the metro engaged in agritourism, a growing industry with little oversight. Do you have to report to any state agency no. that you're using this? No. Do you have to have any kind of special license to operate this? No. So all of your safety precautions are from you? Yes. So it's a source of joy for us, not only because of the farming part of it, but also that people have fun. That's probably the biggest reason why we do this. Though rare, tragic agritourism incidents aren't unprecedented. Last month, dozens of kids were hurt after a hayride overturned at a Wisconsin apple orchard. Kids, meanwhile, are at risk really any time they're around farm equipment. New research shows roughly 115 children die in agriculture-related incidents every year, while the vast majority of injuries happen when the kids aren't even working. Casper Ben Dixon is the director of the National Farm Medicine Center. He says while it's a good thing agritourism is becoming more popular, farmers could use some help when they expand into hospitality. There's a lot at stake. There's not just the, the human health of the visitors and the workers. Uh, there's a business at stake. There's a community at stake. There is one agritourism law on the books in Minnesota, a statute giving operators limited liability with some exceptions, including negligence. In Minneapolis, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News.